I'm gonna show you what to do if you're encountering this type of error while you're editing in the iMovie. Let's get started. What's going on guys? This is Apple Fox channel here and in this video I want to talk about the error as you can notice which has to do something with the iMovie and it happens quite a lot actually. I know that many people have been struggling with this and I have the solution for you right here in this video. But first of all I need to say that there may be a couple of reasons why this isn't working for you on your iPhone or iPad. It can vary depending on the device you have and the software and so on. But I'm gonna go through the possible reasons and the possible fixes to this error. So now let's finally dive into the video. So let's recap this situation once again. This is the project in your iMovie app on your iPhone or iPad. By the way, it doesn't really matter which device you're using. As long as you have the iMovie app and the export doesn't work, that's gonna work for you. So basically you have this footage and you have put some time in it. You have been working on it for quite some time and you want to export it. You click on the down button, you click on the resolution that you want to choose, but all of a sudden you get an error message and you don't know what to do and you don't want to delete the whole project and start from the beginning. So what you have to do is to first check if you have enough storage on the device that you're using. So just like normally go to the settings and go to the about page about your iPhone or iPad and there you will be seeing which type of device storage you have and also which is the available storage at this point of time. So let me zoom it in and here as you can see on my iPad I'm having 1.84 gigabytes available. So it is a 16 gigabytes iPad and 1.84 is available. And that means that this type of short movie should definitely be able to be exported to my camera roll. And that means that the problem is somewhere else. But first, just make sure you have enough storage and in case you don't, simply remove some stuff from the iPhone or iPad, like delete some photos and also delete some apps if you really need to. But also keep in mind that if you delete some photos, you have to, of course, remove it from the recently deleted folder in order to see that you have more storage available now. So let's continue. What if this is not true and you have enough storage, but still you get the error message. So let's begin with the first trick. And by the way, I have to say that this hasn't been working for me, but for some people it was working. So as I mentioned, for every person it is something else. So what may work for me may not work for you and just like that. So every person is different, every device is different and also every single footage is different as well. But the first trick is basically that you add some of the picture or video in the beginning or at the end just to basically mess up with the footage that you have just made. Change the transition to be like non-transition. So make sure it is not interrupting the video that you were working on and basically now click on the done button and basically export the edit. And what this is gonna do is basically gonna create another video. This is basically another project that you are trying to export. So whatever was wrong with the previous one, this is another one because you have added another photo. In this case, you can also add a video, but it is something different. So now it may work for some reason. So basically click on the share icon and just like usual, save the video and click on the resolution and so on. And when it happens to be fixing the issue and your error is basically gone, then you have to go to the photos and basically trim the video. So you basically remove the part that you don't want into that. You basically remove the screenshot or whatever. But basically keep that in mind that this may work as well. Now let's move on to the second possible fix for this problem. So I assume that if you are editing this type of video, you are also adding some kind of music to it, whether it's the background music or some foreground music. Let's take a look at this one and let's use this right here. So you have the option to choose if the music will be in the foreground or in the background. And in case you are adding multiple type of music and all of that kind of stuff, you know, like as you can see at this point of time, we have the background and foreground music at the very same time. And also if you are adding some kind of text, well, the iMovie will simply not be able to manage this type of stuff and uh, the error message will simply pop up. So in case you want to save the project and you don't want to start again with a new one, you have to delete some of the music, for example. So delete the background music just like that and now try to export the footage. I mean, if this doesn't work, try to remove the text or whatever different type of effect you are having in the video, try to remove it and then export the video. And this should work definitely for you because it always works for me. And now, for example, as you can see, I have only the foreground music. And now when I click on the done button, I will export it the normal way. 
and then I will create another project. I will actually choose the file, this one right here, the exported file, and then I will add the background music. So I will basically make the exporting process again. So I will export it once again, and then it will be all put together and it will be okay. And of course, it will be exported in the camera roll. So it should definitely work for you. But just in case, this doesn't fix the problem. Even though it should, like 90% of the people should be able to fix the problem this way. But if this doesn't work, you have to open up the iMovie app once again, obviously. And now what you have to do is click on the done button because at this point of time, everything is okay. So make sure to hit the done button just like this. And instead of clicking on the save file, you have to make sure to airdrop this project to someone else. So I'm gonna bring this iPhone around. So make sure to click on the iPhone. And now you have two options. You can either share the video file or share the iMovie project. So basically, instead of sharing the video file that will be exported after you click on this button, you have to click on the iMovie project and basically share the project that you have been working on on this device onto another device and pretty much export it there. And hopefully this will work. So it should definitely work. If this previous method wasn't working, this should be working definitely. Besides that, I don't think you can do anything else with this, you know, like and just trying to find what may be corrupting the file, like why the error is occurring. So as I mentioned, you have to delete one of the elements, for example, text or background music or whatever, and then try to export it. But if this doesn't work, then you have to start again with another program and hopefully it will work for you there. So then my friends would be the end of this video. I want to say thank you very much for watching until the end hopefully you found value in this video and hopefully you are now able to explore the footage that you have edited within the iMovie app so if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful then leave a like to let me know for more videos like this and some other apple watch reviews ios reviews as well as some ipad coverage definitely hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss those videos and see you in the next one peace out guys